Hey, what's up you guys? I've been getting this video requested for so, so long. Believe it or not, I get emails about it just all the time asking for two things, a jewelry collection tour and an Elvis closet tour. So I'm gonna be doing the second one for you today. Maybe I'll be doing the other one, the jewelry tour at another time, but my jewelry collection is not as extensive as one would think it is. But the closet tour is pretty extensive. I like to think that I'm one of the few ETAs who has just as many, or actually more, of Elvis's street and casual wear and maybe just like movie outfits and stuff like that that you ordinarily wouldn't see on stage. More of that than I do jumpsuits. So uh, let's hop into this. Okay guys, let's get started here. I'm just gonna start pulling things out, starting with my little <laughs> belt hanger, which I'm gonna throw pictures of Elvis wearing these belts on screen as I show it to you. This is just a plain like 50s white belt. I um, have an Elvis concho belt, like Elvis would wear in 1969, 1970. Then I have this 1971 casual eagle belt that Elvis wore in July of 71, um, two years before Aloha from Hawaii. And then I have two gold stretch belts here. This one Elvis wore in April of 1970. This one Elvis wore in... I want to say July of 1969. There's a picture of him and Priscilla standing outside of Graceland where he's wearing this. So that's just kind of my um, casual belts rack right there, not counting anything macrame or anything more fancy. Then I have just some outfits that I think Elvis would have worn in the 50s uh, that are kind of just quick grabs that I can grab in case I don't want to put together an outfit. I just want something quick. Uh, this is just like a early 50s kind of thing. It's a black bomber jacket with a Nice little striped shirt, un or not striped shirt, little geometric shirt. Short sleeve, sleeves pegged up inside. Very 50s. Got this nice kind of turquoise sport coat. This is one of my favorites. It has matching pants inside too. Still has the tag on the pants because I just got them altered and I haven't worn the pants yet. I've worn everything else on the ensemble, but it's like tweed pink polka dotted shirt, white tie. I just ordered a white skinny tie to replace this with because I don't like how thick this is. So hopefully that's coming in soon. Um, this is very, very 50s. Um, I actually think this is more reminiscent of uh, like a more rockabilly artist than it is Elvis, uh, but, but it still kind of works. Then I got this thing right here. I think this is very, very Elvis, you know, plaid and stripes, and Elvis like to mix patterns around. So I put this together because I thought that mixing the patterns, but still kind of keeping a similar color combination would look really cool, and I think it does. And yes, it is a clip-on tie. Elvis wore those pretty often, according to a Gates of Graceland video where they showed some clip-on ties that are in their archive of his. Got my boots and everything else up there. <laughs> okay, uh, and I got this jacket right here there's no pictures of elvis wearing cheetah print that i can remember but i just love this jacket i think it's super cool and it goes very very nicely with this 1956 zigzag shirt which elvis did wear i'll also flash a picture of elvis wearing that on the screen i got this little 50 shirt now we're getting into some better stuff for you that's a little bit more authentic getting into movie wear from the early 60s and the only thing, I, I need to add a GI Blue suit right there. So they're about $200. So if you want to give an extra big tip, <laughs> I don't know. Give me a blue, GI Blue suit. I think it'd be cool. But um, I'm half kidding. But anyway, so I'm doing a show at the Act Studio Theater in Stewart, Florida in a couple of weeks. And you can get tickets for it. I'm going to leave the ticket link in the description below, you could also go to my website, mattstoneiselvis.com, to see my entire Florida tour schedule. But usually my show is the Elvis Presley experience, where I'm in the jumpsuit and I'm doing 70s. On occasion, I might break out a little 50s thing. That's usually more for um, smaller events, because 50s is not my main expertise. But at this show, I'm doing something that I've never done before. I'm going to, and no ETA has ever done before. I'm going to be doing all the songs recreated in the same sets that Elvis performed them in from the movies Blue Hawaii and Girls, Girls, Girls. We're going to be playing movie clips in between songs so I can do costume changes to tell the story of the movie through the songs in the movie clips, recreating it as, exactly as Elvis did. So, for example, in Rock Hula Baby, I not only have the Rock Hula Baby outfit, we have a background to look like the background of Elvis's parents' mansion where he sang Rock Hula Baby. We got tiki torches 
and um, and, and a tiki hut projection to be able to do uh, the end, the closing scene of Girls, Girls, Girls with all the twisting, which I'm most excited about in the show. So I'm going to get into some of this blue Hawaii wear that I have. Um, and believe it or not, this is the first piece of blue Hawaii wear in my collection, and I'm not wearing it in the show because Elvis didn't sing anything in this, unfortunately. But, so Elvis wore this towards the end of the movie. He's sitting at breakfast towards the end, and he's wearing this. But you can see Elvis wearing this exact same outfit, but in a white, like a cream ivory version of this shirt when he sings Moonlight Swim, when he's taking the girls on the tour to the pineapple stand. He's wearing a sailboat shirt like this, but it's cream. And uh, I actually created this design, and I put it on the shirt. Uh, it's completely embroidered. You can buy them on my Etsy shop. Um, which I believe there's also a link in the description for in case you're interested in these shirts. They're very affordable. I hardly make any profit on these. Um, the shirts are expensive for me, so by the time I ship it, I don't make much. But I, my main goal is to just kind of get more rare Elvis stuff out there and on the market rather than making money. So uh, getting onwards, I got just standard blue Hawaii shirt. I almost wore this on the album cover. I'm going to be wearing this for most of the songs in the blue Hawaii um, in the Blue Hawaii part of the show, um, because Elvis changed into a couple different tiki shirts, and this is the only one that's like an actual authentic thing. None of the other ones are really out there anymore. Uh, something interesting I noticed, by the way, Garvey from the fight before uh, Beach Boy Blues in the movie is wearing a red version of the shirt. It's the exact same pattern, but it's uh, but it's blue. Take notice of that. Uh, so I'm doing Beach Boy Blues in this, and. Um, and all that. But uh, then I have right here, this is very interesting. This is my Hawaiian wedding song outfit where I am marrying my wife once again, this time on stage, singing a Hawaiian wedding song. So I got the silk shirt, white pants, and I got this big, thick red sash to go around my waist. And I'm waiting for the big red lei to arrive to complete the outfit. But uh, so this is my Hawaiian wedding song suit. Most of the stuff I just bought strictly for the show. So you guys got to get tickets for it. It's going to be unlike anything that you've ever seen before. Got my Viva Las Vegas poster. It's actually the French poster. I bought it without realizing that it's the French poster. <laughs> uh, but continuing. This is my Rockahula baby outfit. Uh, yeah, it's just a tweed jacket. Good thread shirt. Little kind of gold slash yellowy tie. I'm actually going to be using this exact same jacket for I Don't Want to Be Tied. Uh, later for girls, girls, girls. I just got to change the tie out. I don't want to be tied. And then I have the I don't want to be tied outfit. And I'm going to be using the shirt and the black pants to be able to do we'll be together before the change. Now, this next thing is honestly probably one of the stupidest purchases I've ever made. I don't know when I'm ever going to wear it. I haven't worn it yet. Never taken it out of the house before, but I look like a complete cowboy when I put it on. Um, I got these from my good friend Randy Pennington because I thought they looked like the pants I was wore in Flaming Star. And they are suede and they're leather on the inside because suede is the reverse side of leather for those of you who don't know. You can't, yeah, leather on the inside. Not that part. Or is it? That part, yeah. So uh, then it's got studding on the side. Elvis' this pants didn't have studding, but I think it's super cool. And then I have a kind of striped shirt like Elvis wore in Flaming Star to go with it. Can you even see the stripes? It's really wrinkled. I apologize, folks. I was just organizing my closet the other day and I didn't have time to iron anything because I was trying to get this video ready. Next, girls, girls, girls hat. And it's next because it just fell. <laughs> it's right up there. So then I have my return to sender suit, authentic with the three buttons. I got two different pairs of pants in here. One of them is a little bit baggier than the other. One is a little bit more tapered. In case I want to use this as a 50 suit, I have the bigger leg ones in there as well. Um, I'm waiting on my black shirt with the white buttons to be able to complete that look. Next is my Girls, Girls, Girls and Song of Shrimp outfit. Uh, got the nice rolled up sleeves. This is actually one of my favorite shirts. It's, it's a great little outfit. And this shirt, this hat goes with that shirt. And if I have time, I'm going to dye this uh, jet black rather than blue because this is the only one that I found that's not like $300 and it was blue and I got it for like, I want to say it was like $30, $40 on Poshmark. I bought another one for $20 that didn't fit, so that's why I almost said 20 
This is my Roustabout jacket from the movie Roustabout. I went through a little fad where I love the movie Roustabout and wanted nothing but the movie Roustabout constantly. So um, I have a, a few outfits from Roustabout. Uh, I have this shirt right here, which is a wrinkly mess. These shirts are so hard to unwrinkle, but they're completely authentic to the real thing. Nobody else has them authentic. Um, this shirt is what Elvis wore in Roustabout. Uh, on the album cover, I believe, and there's some other pictures of him wearing it. He wore it in the movie, and he also wore the exact same shirt, as you can tell by the stitching, in the movie Easy Come, Easy Go, four, uh, three years later. And he also wore one of these hats in Easy Come, Easy Go, but it was light blue on top. Next, I have my Tickle Me jacket and my white western shirt right underneath it. Pretty cool outfit. This next vest was a gift from my good friend, Mr. James Colley. It laces up on the bottom, and it's just a super cool suede blue, kind of longer vest, something that Elvis would have worn in the late 60s. It's kind of like a movie year jacket. I like to place it like 67, 68, so I have it right between Tickle Me and Speedway. Next, I got my red Speedway, my black Speedway. Elvis didn't have a black one, but I do like the black one a good bit. Um, I have this orange jacket that looks kind of like the one that Elvis wore in Speedway. It's much more red under light than Elvis's, and the lapel is wrong, but I got this on clearance at Macy's for, I think it was like $10, so I had to get it. Um, great jacket for $10. And then I got my Stay Away Joe little ensemble here, uh, and I also have an exact replica of the belt Elvis wore in the movie somewhere. Uh, I can't find it, though. I was going to put it up here, but I was looking for it the other day, and I couldn't find it. Uh, I just moved, so some of my stuff is still in boxes, but I thought I got all the Elvis stuff out. I'm also looking for an exact replica of the hat that Elvis wore in the movie, so if anybody knows where I can get a hat like that, just let me know. And the, um, the little cuff as well. Next, I have a little guitar man outfit and I also have the vest on top of it that Elvis wore on the plane ride to shoot the 68 comeback special on May 25th 1968 if I'm remembering my dates correctly I do have several slides to go up the scarves typically but I sell those on Etsy as well and I sold my last one yesterday and actually got another order today so I need to pick up a big pack of them tomorrow um because I'm out myself. I sold mine, my personal last one yesterday. Then I have my 68 leather, which I'm going to be debuting this weekend in Orlando. If anybody would like to get tickets, any Orlando Elvis fans would like to get tickets, uh, that's June 4th, uh, you can go on my website. Then I have this other leather, and this one is much nicer than the other one. This is a B&K leather suit. This was a gift from, once again, my great friend, James Colley. He's an amazing guy. Anybody who has a chance to get to know James, he's just, he's so generous. He captures Elvis's generosity. He's very authentic with it, just wanting everything to be accurate, very much like I am. So he gave me this suit and I had it all altered down to my size, but um, because he's a little bit bigger than I am, but the shoulders are still a little bit wide. So it makes my head look small when I put it on because it's, the shoulders are wide on me. So, I'm waiting to go to the gym so I can make the nice leather suit fit rather than the other leather suit fit. But I will be wearing this suit one day because it's an amazing suit and it's such good quality. And now I'm gonna show you my last piece on this side of the closet before we scoot over the mirrors and go to the other side. And that is my 68 press conference suit. I have a press conference scarf pants and the jacket. Pretty simple, pretty snazzy from Pro Elvis Jumpsuits. I probably wore, wear this outfit more than any other because it's so incredibly versatile. Versatile, <laughs> I dropped my scarf. Uh, I wear it for, for everything from, you know, 69 to like 75, I can wear this outfit. Switching gears over to the other part of the closet. Over here, I have this 1969 1970 v-neck shirt Elvis warm in both years this thing is really wrinkled right now I don't know if I've ever worn it because it's actually I think it shrunk the first time I wore 
I put it on because it was a little bit big, I tried to shrink it and then it shrunk too much. Um, but it's a really cool shirt. I mean, I, I tried to put it on the other day and my ribs were sticking out, but it's just, I love the cut of this. One day I'm gonna buy the AJM version because it looks beautiful. Then I have 1969 casual jacket. I was also wore this, this on stage um, with the matching pants, but I don't have the matching pants. Um, B and K cut this to be the exact same cut as the 68 on the cuffs, which is not accurate. Elvis has had jumpsuit cuffs, like French cuffs on it. Um, and Elvis's was also kind of a wool material. They made it in a gabardine for me. They usually make it in denim. I had to make it in a gabardine, um, but Elvis's is wool. And my good friend, Mr. John Chapman, gave me a pin, a pin from the Iowa, uh, from the Iowa legislature, for, from his friend who served over there. Um, so Elvis had a little pin on his jacket in one of the pictures that he's wearing it. So I stuck the pin on there. And so whenever I wear it, I have my little Iowa pin on there. Oh, breaking my hanger. Next, I have my 1970 rehearsal pinstripe pants. If you'd like to purchase a pair of these, just uh, give, me a, give me an email. I don't have these on Etsy, or maybe I do. I do, I do have these on Etsy. Um, if you'd like to purchase a pair of these, just go on my Etsy shop and you can get them. I have them very, very affordable. There's no reason to go spend $300 on these pants. It's ridiculous what some people want to charge for these. Next, I have a brown puppy sleeve shirt. This thing is not in the best shape in the world, but it's a brown puppy sleeve shirt. I don't think, I have not worn this yet. Probably will soon. Next, this is one of my favorite outfits. Um, it is the 1970 Zodiac belt that Elvis wore in January of 1970 when he had some pit stains. And I have this <laughs> belt matched with another blue shirt. Elvis wasn't wearing this blue shirt with it. He was wearing another one. Um, but Elvis also wore this shirt specifically in 1969. And he also wore it again in 1970 with a brown suede vest with little cutouts in it. So I'm wanting, I'm wanting to get the brown vest to go with this shirt as well, uh, one of these days. But I tend to wear the, the belt with this because it's my best blue shirt. Then I have another gift from James. <laughs> Man, I love that guy. Um, this is a 1970 lace-up outfit. Um, Elvis wore this in um, August 22nd, 1970. The white puppy sleeve shirt from AJM, one of my favorite shirts. I custom order my shirts to have a more loose um, 1970-ish collar on them to make the collar roll a little bit more. Like you can see in Elvis's, that's the way it is rehearsal, for example. Elvis's collars weren't high yet. They um, they kind of rolled over, which is also how I had this black shirt made, one, another one of my favorite shirts, and this green shirt made. This green shirt goes with the gold stretch belt that Elvis wore that I showed you a picture of earlier. Um, then I have this 1970 striped shirt. Elvis wore this going to the movie theater to the Memphian in July of 1970 with white pants and the concho belt that you saw earlier. Um, and I have the Telegram shirt. I just wore this shirt while reading Telegrams on opening night, August 10th, 1970. I just wore this shirt and this belt, which I do sell. Do I sell this on Etsy? I don't know. If, I, if it's not on my Etsy store, you can message me and you can get one if you want. I make these myself. Um, and the shirt is from AJM. Beautiful little shirt. Um, I just wore this July 14th, 1970. I, I think. July 14th. That sounds right. He wore the other one that looks similar to it, but it's more red and less pink on July 15th. Then I have this one. I just wore this. I'm, I'm losing myself on the date right here, but I was, we all know this shirt. Elvis wore it in rehearsals in 1970. August 3rd. I think that's right. Then 
On the other hand, I have a high collar shirt here to go with this outfit. Elvis wore the high collar. He started wearing high collar shirts. I believe in late 1970, um, he took these photos in November and his shirt was high collared then. So that is when I believe he actually switched to the higher collar and not the roll collar. Actually, I lied. I just lied because this shirt and this shirt are both high collared and Elvis wore these in July and no, in August of 1970. So maybe that's when he made the switch. Yeah, that's right, August 1970. Before that, I'm thinking everything was roll, roll collared, but so yeah, so I got this shirt. I wear this on occasion, um, doing like a 1971 two-piece look with black pants and the gold belt, like the um, one of the cobweb outfits. Then right here, I have a blank cobweb vest that isn't studied yet. I bought this blank from Pro Elvis Jumpsuits. Um, thinking that I would stud that I would save myself a couple hundred dollars and stud it myself and I never actually got around to studying it So I bought studs, but I haven't ever done it yet But I I'm almost afraid of messing it up because I've never studied anything before and this vest is just beautiful. I love it. So Yeah, that's that Then I have this grommet jacket that unfortunately is very wide on me um, It doesn't fit correctly. It's It's like it kind of fits wide under here, but if I were to take it in anymore, then I would start to lose the grommets. So I can't alter it anymore. I spent about $300 trying to get this jacket altered, um, which is insane because it's more than I paid for it. <laughs> um, because I just love the outfit. So if anybody is interested in this jacket, it's about a size 36. 37, I would say. Feel free to message me. I'll let it go to steal because unfortunately I can't wear it and I've just spent a lot of money on it and I, I want to see it go to a good home because I, I can't wear it. But super cool jacket. Anyways, next we got white kick pants. I wore these in 1972 and 1971. So uh, I plan on getting a shirt from AJM that Elvis wore in Chicago in 1972 to go with these and then possibly getting the matching jacket with the, with the vent pockets from her Elvis that will match these to complete the outfit. And I also bought these to go with this shirt. Then we're getting into my jumpsuits. So you're in for a wild ride, ladies and gentlemen, a wild ride. I got my black sis not it's not cisco kid cossack jumpsuit right here 1969 my white cossack jumpsuit 1969 both of these are being gay uh this was the first jumpsuit the first professional jumpsuit i ever bought i had a couple of like offshoot brand jumpsuits that you know you can get for a couple hundred dollars um beforehand but those the my message to all young etas out there you have to invest in your suits and by invest i mean at least go to pro elvis jumpsuits because if you do anything else you're gonna regret it it may sound great to get a jumpsuit that's that you think is worth a thousand dollars for three hundred dollars if it sounds too good to be true it 100 percent is you're wasting your money you're gonna spend three hundred dollars and you're never gonna be able to wear the suit uh, i'm speaking from experience i i was in the mentality of buying cheap for a very long time and the stuff falls apart and it doesn't fit. And by the time you buy all this stuff that's super cheap, you're like, wow, I can't wear any of this. You might as well have just bought one nice suit. So highly recommend Pro Elvis jumpsuits. Great pricing, great quality. Go for Pro Elvis. Um, they make tons of my casual wear. AJM makes most of the shirts. I have a couple B&K suits, but most of my suits are Pro Elvis. And I used to have a co uh, concho jumpsuit from from AJM that was amazing, but I sold it in order to buy my Cisco kit. So going forward, I just gave a really long rant, is a B&K uh, turquoise tapestry. Beautiful, beautiful suit. This belt is from elvisbelts.com. If you're going for macrame belts, um, I used to go there, but now I go to a girl um, out of, I think Pakistan, if I'm not incorrect. Uh, Saroon Accessories on Etsy. Great, great prices, great belts. She made my Zodiac belt. 
Then I have this suit, the macrame collar suit right here. Uh, for this outfit, I actually went to Pro Elvis and had her make me a jumpsuit shell with a mandarin collar on it, and she did it so affordable. Um, so, so affordable. Um, and then I went to Saroon and got out of uh, Pakistan and got the collar and the belt to go with it. And I had her make it in too light of a gold cord, but that was my mistake. So, but I still love the suit. It's really cool. I actually changed the crimps myself because she put them in gold, which is how B&K makes it. And I believe Pro Elvis makes it that way too, but Elvis's were silver. So go with silver. Um, Elvis has had crimps on the white ones and were knotted on the, on the gold ones. So that's what I did. So then over here, I have my brand new fringe jumpsuit or not brand new. I bought it used. Buy used jumpsuits. Another, another great, uh, life lesson. As long as they're from a real company, uh, buy used jumpsuits, folks. Um, I just shortened the fringes myself because they were a little bit long. A lot of jumpsuit makers tend to make their fringes long and really, really V-cut. Elvis's were almost straight across. They went like like this. They weren't like that. And they were also like center belt line. So I cut my, um, my fringes. And I'm not a big fan of the white belt that Elvis wore in Las Vegas with this. I like the belts he wore on tour with it, um, being the green from the thin green leaf suit. Uh, and I have a green scarf to go with that. Um, I, I don't use either of these on stage. These are big square scarves like Elvis wore. I bought them, but then I got actual scarves and actual scarf, actual scarves in these colors to give away on stage. So I actually haven't used these. So and I might've used this one once. And then I have the Miami belt that he wore in Miami and Tampa. I think are the only two times he wore the blue belt with the fringe suit, but both of those from the September and November tour of 1970. In my opinion, one of Elvis's greatest stores. Then, the old pride and joy. I wore the heck out of this suit. It's getting all pillated, pitilated, pillated, tilted. I don't, I don't know the word, <laughs> but uh, as you can see, there's a Maybe you can't see. There's a ton of crap on this suit that it's just, I have worn the heck out of this thing. It doesn't have much life left in it, but the suit fits beautifully. I bought this used from Radney Pennington, um, just like I did my fringe suit, and I got it altered down. And there's something about the way that I made this suit fit where it's loose at the chest and super tight at the waist and super tight in the legs, but it, it's tight in all the right places and it's loose in all the right places, and it just looks beautiful on stage. My biggest regret is I got the collar shortened because I thought the collar was too big when I first got it, and I regret it every single time I put it on because now the collar is wrong, and I have to put these little stickies in there to keep the collar down. But with it, I have a white macrame belt, and I also have a brown kind of skinny belt that I almost wore in September of 1970 with this in Detroit and hmm, I want to say Mobile he wore that uh, Elvis also wore the lucky belt with this and the rat and the ladder belt with this so I just sold my ladder belt um, a few weeks ago and I want to get the lucky belt to go with it the lucky belt you've seen all the pictures of me wearing it I rented that from B&K at a contest in case you're wondering they charged me like $30 to rent the belt, but I really wanted it to be able to perform with it. So right here, I have my green Cisco Kid jumpsuit from Pearl Elvis Jumpsuits. I love this suit. It's one of my favorites. Um, that's really all there is to say about it. The studs are starting to tarnish. I didn't notice that before. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful suit. Man, I love this thing. I wore it with my gold elite belt. And once I actually wore it with the Zodiac belt, and it's just beautiful. Next, I have my square nail jumpsuit from 1971. I don't wear this suit super often. I've worn it a couple times only. Um, and I've got the purple belt right here, which I will soon be wearing with the next edition of my jumpsuit collection, which I just ordered about a week ago, the Indian fringe slash knot suit that Elvis also wore this belt with. So very much looking forward to that, another 1971 suit. Then lastly, in the collection, the old planet jumpsuit. 
19, November 1972 and also used in 1973 with the original belt. I haven't bought the original belt yet, but this is my planet jumpsuit from Pro Elvis Jumpsuits. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I love it. And then I also have my Elvis concert jacket back there, in case you see it, but that's not really, it's not really an Elvis outfit. That's an Elvis entourage jacket. But anyways, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, this closet tour. This is something that I've been getting so many requests to do over the years. Please, guys, go to mattstonuselvis.com. Check out my Florida tour schedule right now. Make sure you get tickets to the Blue Hawaii Experience show. It's going to be like any other show you've ever seen. Until next time, and God bless you all. As you ask me, thank you very much.